and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for our special Thanksgiving stream where we have our second deck of the day. This is going to be Soltai Adventure, and as you can tell, Hawkeye's pretty excited about it. Um, you may remember this deck from from a while ago. We, we played it on stream uh, maybe uh, maybe about a month ago, I'd, I'd have to say, probably, probably about a month ago. Uh, we played it in Best of One is where uh, I put th this deck together. Because as you know, Fae of Wishes is just super, super powerful in Best of One. And um, so, you know, we, we played it over there. Um, however, we're going to try it again um, in Best of Three here now. Uh, all I did is I, I took out, we had, last time we had three of each temple. And I took out th these two temples and put in another forest and another swamp. Because you really do need lots and lots of basics for Beanstalk Giant Lucky Clover. Um, but basically with, you know, Teamer Adventure has been kind of popular. We played against it a couple of times yesterday and, you know, played against it before. It's, it's kind of getting more popular. And I thought, you know what, why don't we play the Soul Tide Adventure again and try it out in best of three? Because really this deck's just all about ramping and then using Fey of Wishes to, to choose uh, different uh, big spells that can take over the game. Soul Tide, of course, we get Casualties of War, uh, which is just awesome. And so we got a couple casualties of war over here. The only cards that I have two of in my sideboard are two negate, two casualties of war. I may not have enough for aggro matchups, honestly. We'll kind of see how that goes. That's that's something I'm a little worried about. But obviously, like we can just kind of take over late games, you know, with Tamiyo, Liliana, Plain White Celebration, which of course Celebration and Liliana can combo. The Great Henge, Mass Manipulation. We got a lot of sweet stuff here if we can get a lot of mana. Basically, all we want to see in our hand is we want our opening hands, we want three lands, we want Lucky Clover, and we want Fertile Footsteps. We know we just want to ramp with Fertile Footsteps, get a whole lot of mana, and then do ridiculous things after that. Um, so that's the goal of our deck. Let's see how it does. So we're going to go ahead and play either four or five matches over in Mythic. You'll play about an hour and a half. League, traditional, standard, ranked. And let's see how Sultai Adventure does hey Hawkeye how you doing Boop. and then of course we have good interaction with having murderous rider and uh, brazen borrower we got the order of midnight that can bring stuff back Foulmire Knight. This would be a great a great hand to draw Beanstalk Giant. And go grab two swamps. Fertile Footsteps, where you at? So it has to be non-land permanent. Through this land, we are all connected. All right, so we're going to do uh, Bounce Nissa, Copy, Copy, Bounce Paradise Druid, bounce. Oh, I can't bounce Paradise Druid again, though. I can't target the same thing twice here, can I? Uh, so I guess the Brazen Borrower just dies. That is kind of the problem with Brazen Borrower or, of course, Murderous Rider with Lucky Clover. I was hoping that I could just um, <clears throat> that I could just target like the, with both the copies, target like the Paradise Druid twice. And have the one target fizzle, but you have to just continue resolving, I suppose, before you target. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so we need need those fertile footsteps and and of course we need Fey of Wishes. Those are the two really important cards to draw. Edgewall Innkeeper wouldn't be bad. Draw some cards. Be wary of the ground you walk on. No, yeah, you can't decline. It there's it's not it's not a thing you can decline. Murderous Rider would be good too, taking out this Nissa. Or land. I didn't play the. I know we could have played flashed in the brazen borrower, but I didn't do that because we could have drawn Edgewall Innkeeper here. And then I would have wanted would have wanted to Innkeeper borrower. All right. Well, they have infinite mana. If they have a Crisis, we're just dead. That's what it looks like. Hey, Holy Guardian. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't think I feel too bad about this matchup. Brazen Borrower is good against Agent of Treachery and Mass Manipulation. But obviously we're just going to lose game one. But... I don't feel so bad about games two and three. All right, we'll just move on with life. A lot of good stuff. I don't know how much I want to water down the deck. We'll take out a borrower and an order at midnight. And we're gonna play a ritual set. Could probably take out a love struck beast also. Play a ritual, a casualties. And a great hinge. Good, CBSAC. Glad you saw the Orzhov control video. And yeah, it did it did well. So that was awesome. Yeah, that was fun to play some historic with that deck. Phyrexian Arena was really fun. Hmm. Why can't we ever get Beanstalk Giant? Awesome, Spendrew. Yeah, glad the glad the Corpse Knights are working there. Ugh. It's not one that I love putting down to the bottom.
<laughs> yeah, bitter melon starts today with a 4-0. It's always good. I do not know whenever you'll be able to see the submitted decks for the Mythic Championship next weekend. I do not know. Wow. Our deck's definitely going to perform a whole lot better if we ever find Beanstalk Giant. It's the most important early card, for sure. But, I mean, even what, like all the stuff we just did, I mean, we did, we did just draw three cards. Three extra cards, like, so it's not so bad. Basically, just don't like anything I can possibly do here. I want to hold up Murderous Rider. I want to play Lucky Clover and Murderous Rider. That's what I want to do, but I can't. Could go Innkeeper with Murderous Rider. I guess I'm going to do that. Just don't love it. Yeah, so I could Fae of Wish for Ritual of Soot, but then that that's just pretty slow and, you know, like, telling my opponent exactly what I'm going to be doing. I don't love that either. Okay, we got our best card. Now, unfortunately, I didn't play Lucky Clover earlier. Which I am regretting at this point. Yeah, like, like Borrower isn't isn't great in this matchup at all, except for after like if they age in a treachery stuff. But the thing is, they can also just age in a treachery my lands. But yeah, ha having these Borrowers early like this isn't isn't great at all.
That's not good. That's not good tapping. Good, more land drops. What can I have Fae of Wish for? Trying to devise a, a decent plan. I mean, mass manipulation would be a good one. But obviously we're going to need more mana for that. Alright, we're going to go to the next match. Alright, too slow. Too clunky. Brazen Borrower looked awful. Hmm. We have the two best cards. Lucky Clover and a Beanstalk Giant, but we don't have the lands to play them. Okay. Let's draw green. Let's draw green land. This hand could be amazing if we draw green land. So I think we wait and maybe cast Profane Insight instead of these Foulmire Knights if we need extra mana. Or if we need to look for extra cards to try to find green mana. All right, good start for our opponent.
turn three reclamation. Do they cast insight also? Wow. That's that's the ideal turn three, spending eight mana. It's even more mana than I'm going to be spending. Yeah, they're doing even better than I am. This is a good hand. I'm sitting here at 5 mana. My opponent's sitting here at 21 mana. Wow. I mean, this explosion is just for 10. GG. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, we got some land drops and some ramp. I like it. And we'll take that. So I should be able to play Beanstalk Giant on turn three and then hold up Negate still for Reclamation. Obviously, our Beanstalk Giant could get countered, though. Oh, no, I, I don't get a hold of a counter spell still. I'm wrong. Yeah, that's not true. I was thinking, you know, like, if we had Lucky Clover in play, we would. We don't have Lucky Clover in play, of course. Yay, no reclamation. That hurts. I, I prefer to getting a... So, basically, the reason why I did that was really... It was really... Um, uh, greedy. I guess that's the word. It was really greedy of... With, with the other Beanstalk Giant resolving, of me wanting just to play one of these tap lands in. Like, one of those lands in to play tapped. Um... <sighs> Boo.
and scribe both to the top. So I need to be able to pay for a mystical dispute. Alright, well this is not looking good. So this is just kind of like my, you know, effort here. They, they kept this other card on top, though, and they get the scries. Like, I'll be very surprised if this actually resolves, but... Um, damn, they're scrying everything to the top. I, yeah. I mean, it looks like maybe they just have Explosion if they're shocking in here. Yeah, it looks like they just have Explosion. They're keeping all those things on top. Alright, 0-2. Oh Two awesome, awesome hands for our team or Reclamation opponent. Very good. The first one was perfect, and that one had a lot of good counter magic, and then the Reclamation Niv. Just their hands and deck was better, so GG's. Sometimes we have good leagues, like the previous one. Sometimes we have bad leagues, like the current one. Alright, so Watery Grave, Swamp. If we can somehow get Tamio in play and them not be able to kill Tamio. Tamio would keep my opponent from making me discard cards.
run into some opponents with some really good looking hands though. Turn one opt, turn two brazen borrower, turn three campaign, turn four thought rager to pick up campaign plus tyrant scorn to kill your five five. Turn five campaign plus thought erasure to make you discard. It's just just doesn't get better from what our opponents are doing. Uh, we lost to Simic Ramp and Teamer Reclamation previously. There's not... I don't think there's like necessarily a deck that's best to climb fast. It's it's kind of all depends on what you like to play and um, everything. It's it's a different answer for every person. There's not just a one singular deck that you, you play this deck, you'll rank fast. That's not really how magic works. Um. So yeah, there's not there's not really a, a truthful answer for me to for me to tell you. There of like what's the deck to play to rank fast? I can kinda recommend Hey Flavio. This is like just you know, kind of list of like the metagame with like a, a few different decks, and you can kind of see like something that you think that you'll enjoy playing, be able to play well, um, all that kind of stuff. So opponent had had an awesome hand here. We're more confident about our our post board games when we get to sideboard appropriately. Hey Joe, happy turkey day. <laughs> yeah, I like Grixis of Mass, that's a fun one. All right, so how much do we want to change? Cause like we could just, you know, just play like basically all of these things and you know, just kind of like play like a whole bunch of top end. I don't want that card. You know, we could just throw a whole bunch of like six drops in the deck. Then, in case, then, of course, we're just kind of risking them <clears throat> making us discard all these cards, though. All 
All right, let's go with this. I don't think they'll have gargoyle, but we do have we have a few murderous riders. All right, yet another mulligan. This is we're we're playing best of three right now, Nalda. We're just playing best of three ranked right now. Mafia wishes. That's a good draw. They got Counterspell. Discarding that land's pretty tough because, you know, we, we do need that seventh land for the Plain White Celebration. Darn, they had Drown in the Lock for a counter. Where I didn't have seven spells over there before. All right, so I can, I can play Plain White Celebration. Now it would get countered by a Drown in the Lock if they have one. Celebration is my best thing to play. You know, we get back Innkeeper, Foulmire Knight, Liliana, Fey of Wishes. Like, it's it's amazing if, if it resolves. The problem, of course, is the whole if it resolves. Just having it sit in hand, though, isn't really that good against a, a heavy discard deck, which our opponent's deck is a heavy discard deck. So I think we will go ahead and give it a try. That's kind of a darned if you do, darned if you don't situation. But obviously that was a very bad scenario for me because now my Foulmire Knight gets discarded as well. We don't get to draw two. So obviously that situation. All of that ended up being... Pretty rough. If I would have just discarded the Liliana, it would have been a lot better. Alright, well, what can we do here? I 
Obviously, I could trophy the the Kefnet. I kind of feel like going for higher upside. Stealing Kefnet. At least we got the campaign out of here, so it doesn't they don't keep on picking up the campaign. I guess I don't let them just be able to get another Kefnet trigger. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have Legion's end now, just to exile both of them. I was going to say, that wouldn't, wouldn't be surprising. No, I should I should just played this. Because the Thought Erasure and everything. I should just played the Beanstalk. I should have just ramped. The, the problem is, is if we ramp, we don't play anything else that whole turn, but I should have just ramped and gotten two lands out. It would make... Just make other things better. Make other draws better. It's not going to make a difference. Blit. All right, we'll play one more. That was four games in a row of our opponents having just really, really good quality answers and, uh, you know, right at the right time, like everything really working out for our opponents four games in a row there. Oh, I don't think I'll like this matchup. We played against Luis last time with the Warzov Troll Knights, and assuming Luis is playing the same deck, which is likely... Going to be really big mana and going over the top of us. Sultai. All right, could use Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk Giant. Uh, turn two spiral, turn three route. <laughs> so many lands. We need a lot of lands too. We need Beanstalk Giant. Yay! Wow, what a draw. Things are actually... Things are actually working. Oh, 
That was a good draw. I'm getting the extra island because of mass manipulation. We want a lot of islands. Oh, hey, Nevenius. GG's. Hey. We just played and that's that's awesome. Hey, well I'm glad I'm glad you're always watching the, the YouTube videos and everything and like all all the, the stream and everything and Yeah, good games. Yeah, you beat me beat me pretty good. Your deck looks sweet. Okay, so definitely playing the other Lucky Clover here. Now, do I triple Fey or triple Foulmeyer? <laughs> uh. Well, that's really cool. Well, hey, I'm glad we played and and, and good job, Navinius, and um, you know, good luck your your other matches. Hope you keep crushing it with that blue black deck. It definitely looked really good. I liked it. So I think my plan is to unmoored Ego Krasis and have a negate available for a Nyssa. Depending on what, obviously depending on what Luis does here. If Luis just plays a Nyssa, then I have Casualties of War to destroy Nyssa. And the, the land, they make a 3-3 and the Gadwick and things like that. Let us see if you're... Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, so three casualties, four Nissas, a couple borrowers, another Gadwick. Four casualties. There's one in the graveyard. So there's four casualties of war in here. I need to draw more beanstalk giants and get more mana. It's only my, my only hindrance of playing tons and tons of cards now. With having another triple fay of wishes and everything. Wonder if I should have like a circuitous route in the or you know something like that in the sideboard that we can grab with Faye to be able to ramp a lot. No tails should be discarded.
I wish I had a land. Really wish I had a land and I could duress a casualty. So oh, wait, I can't even duress because of Tamiyo. I got to kill the Tamiyo first before we can duress. That's fine. I can wait. It's a one mana spell. We'll be able to, we'll be able to cast that later. Edgewall Innkeeper would be a pretty good draw. Two just to be able to help us draw some more land or cards to be able to hit land drops. I mean, that's really our bottleneck is just mana. We obviously have, you know, so much mana worth of cards we could possibly play. Hey, podcast! Happy Thanksgiving. So I wonder, I wonder if I need to have like the brazen borrowers haven't. Um, yeah, we need one blue blue mana for the mass manipulation. This is definitely a lot later card for me. Um, I'm just getting it out of the deck. Um, I wonder if... Wonder if all right, so I have 25 lands in here. I wonder if we need a 26 land, and I wonder if I should cut some of the borrowers and maybe just play some more ramp spells. Kind of feels like that. Like, our deck needs more ramp. Oh, Temple, why are you killing me? So I needed untapped land here to be able to go casualties, kill the Tamiyo, and, you know, like, an Incubation Druid in a land, and then Duress, and then Duress away the other casualties. I could still, I could still just cast casualties. I guess that's probably what I should do. What am I doing? I need land. It's not blue mana though. But I need land. So yeah, I could, I could brazen the Tamiyo. But I don't even know if that's a great card to, to brazen. I have to brazen three things, and so I'd have to like brazen. That, that, and then Gadwick, I guess. Which I, I definitely do not want to bounce the Gadwick. So Planeswalker, land, creature. Creature. Uh, land. Yeah, these brazen borrowers haven't looked good. Dunfield with the sub. Or Dunfeld? We'll go with Dunfeld. Thank you so much there, Dunfeld. You are awesome. Good, we got rid of Anissa.
good. Hey, Storm. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's why I had the casualties before I could I could duress was because of the Tamiyo. I had to kill the Tamiyo first. Okay. That sounds good, Aduriel. All right, so yeah, it looks like taking the mass manipulation is not working out super well for me. But it could be worse. I don't know if I'm supposed to be playing out the Love Struck Beast. I'm picking this Fae of Wishes back up. I'm going to just discard the Borrower and the Overgrown Tomb. Hey, Giovanni. So we get Liliana. Tamio. And the Great Henge. No, celebration. You you can't bounce your own things with Brazen Bar, where you can only bounce your opponent's stuff. Okay, so Duriel sent me a code for um, Duriel sent me a code uh, for um, a booster pack on Arena. So if you would like to be entered for that giveaway for a booster pack on Arena, all you have to do is type Turkey Day into the chat right now. So just type Turkey Day into the chat. We're d doing a giveaway for a, a booster on Arena. It's for a code for one booster. So just type the word, the two words, Turkey Day. That's what we got today. I basically don't want Brazen Borrower, but I don't know what I want instead. Hmm. 
All the casualties. Just negates and duresses. That was really good being able to go fetch negates and duresses, though. Maybe one negate, one duress. Then I could just play, like, uh, a The Great Henge or a Tamiyo. We'll just play the Tamiyo. <laughs> yep, Chappie blown up. All right, last chance. Get on in there if you want to be in the, the giveaway for... Um, for one booster on Arena type Turkey Day. I don't think they'll have something to kill these innkeepers right away. I could be wrong, though. This could be bad throwing out these innkeepers right away. But I'm not expecting... You know, like, we saw their, we saw Luis's deck this last time, and he didn't. You know, so I, so it could have been sideboarded. Something could have been sideboarded in. All right. Let's see who's going to win our giveaway. Oh, my gosh. At Legion's End? Oh, that is brutal. That was brutal. All right, let's see who, who's winning this giveaway. And the winner is Celica. Oh, thank you, Millennium God. You have five codes as well? All right, Celica, are you, are you here? Ooh, that's a great draw. Celica. Yeah, that's you. There you are. Okay. All right, I'm sending you a whisper with the booster code now. <laughs> Did you about misspell my name again? It happened last giveaway also. I think it's bugged. So there you go, Celica. Um, yeah, Millennium God, if you... Yeah, yeah. Whisper, whisper me the other codes if you have... If you have more codes you'd like... Or that I'd be able to give away. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be very nice. All right, so they need to hit a land to be able to casualties. They'll presumably looks like they've probably found it. Scry to the top. They'll they'll kill the lucky clover. The Beanstalk Giant in a Breeding Pool. And then I'm going to be attacking out with everything. 
Gonna force them to chump with Gadwick. Can these love struck beasts get there? They're close. Doesn't seem like a masker girl over on Luis's side. I feel like a masker girl would be slammed. All right, click click on my name right there in chat. And then there's a there should be a, a button for whisper. Click on my name and then click on whisper. Going down to one. So now we got an order with having the order of midnight in here. We got a flyer as well. So we went one and three. Respectable, respectable. So I don't think our deck was necessarily bad. I think like I think we ran into two opponents that just drew incredibly, incredibly well, and you're like those are just matches you're gonna lose. Um and we kind of went one and one in the other ones. Come on. There we go. Um, I think the card that was really disappointing was the Brazen Borrowers. So I think what I think what I'd want here is I think I'd want another forest, maybe another island too, be able to find islands for mass manipulation. Hey, thank you so much there, Xeriff. Have a nice holiday vacation. Thank you so much, Xeriff. So I think I'd want to take out two borrowers and um, get an extra land. And then one other spell. I think maybe, you know, maybe a circuitous route. Um, there's an R in circuitous route. Uh, TV Itzer with the Twitch Prime sub also joining in, getting all these hype boats. Continuing on. Thank you so much there, TV. I appreciate that. Because, yeah, we want lots. We definitely want lots and lots of mana with this deck. Um, obviously, we could just have something like the Great Henge in the main. Let's maybe do that. Let's do, like, a Great Henge in the main deck. 
I, I kind of like that more as a one of. Where Great Henge, we're really only casting it if we have Lovestruck Beast or Beanstalk Giant in play, though. But I think that's just going to be a more impactful one of. Okay. Yeah, that's. I think that's the the card to put in the main deck. Okay, hour twelve. Let's let's do one. We'll do one more match. Actually, let's do one more match with with us with those changes, and I'll change the deckless command. So taking out two of the brazen borrowers that didn't look so great, getting another forest in here. So we got another land, and one. The Great Henge. Ugh. Well, I like having a bunch of lands. So we'll keep that. I don't like having this Brazen Borrower as our only card. Yeah, 4-0 for Troll Knights. Okay. Um, Alright, so Millennium God sent me some... Um, Send me some codes for some more giveaways. So let's do another giveaway. We're going to build it. So we're going to have five winners with this giveaway. Um, this is for each one for one booster pack. Huh. I think I kind of actually want to lose a life and draw a card and have us both to do that, how I just don't have good cards in hand. Alright, we just did Turkey Day. What, um... what do we write here for this? Gobble, gobble. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with finding something to, to say for that so much. Okay. All right, we're just going to do... I know it's longer, but we'll just do Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so the, I, I didn't really want to make something longer, but we're just going to do that. All right, so type Happy Thanksgiving. Again, uh, if you're just joining, what this giveaway is going to be for, it's for um, a booster pack on Arena. I'm going to be picking... We're going to be picking out five winners... Why do we why do I take out two brazen borrowers and that's like the only card that we that we draw? Blech. 
So, so at the end of this game, we're picking the winners. <laughs> just, e just yell at the algorithms like the rest of us do. Those champions are so fervent. Alright, let's take these Brazen Borrowers out again. So yeah, that was just some really, really, really poor draws. We had we drew the one left struck beast. That was good. We drew one good card. All the rest of the, the cards were just useless. Okay, so we're gonna play a Liliana and a Ritual of Soot and a Legion's End. And we're going to take out an Order of Midnight, question mark. All right, last chance. Make sure you say, if you want to be in the drawing, go ahead and type Happy Thanksgiving into the chat if you haven't yet. We're going to be picking out five winners. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> well, the Bills don't play the Cowboys. All right, let's see who our first winner is. Leo Fio. Leo Fio, are you here? Uh. There we go. There we are. All right, Leo Fio's here. All right, so I'm sending you a whisper with the first with the code I hope it works I guess I should say no guarantees um, but these should work all right our next winner is Johas Johas you're our second winner Make sure you guys say something in chat. So I know you're here. Yay, Johas is here. All right. And then I'm sending you a code. I'm with sending, I uh, just sent you a whisper with a code. Okay, let's get the third one. All right, third code sent out. Or wait, see. No, I just copied the third code. Now we need to do the giveaway, see who's the third winner. Oh, the third winner was Zwitzer. Okay, I did do that. All right, so third winner, Zwitzer. And fourth winner is Shabby420. All right, so Spitzer, there's a code for you. And let's get a code for Shabby.
All right, there's a code for Shabby. All right, how we doing? We ramping? And we have one more. One at last code. Let's see who's our last winner. Anatran. This makes me lose four life. The winner is Anatran. All right, let me send this code to Anatran. The, yeah, double granted is definitely an option here too. I don't have anything really that I don't have like a because I, I sideboarded in like a lot of my good cards to grab with with granted. I don't know. Maybe I should have double granted. Let's see. I would have granted. I would have grabbed like casualties of war. Plain white celebration. I wish I had like a ritual of said in my in my sideboard. I guess I had Assassin's Trophy. Murderous Rider? I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I guess I guess I should have done that the last turn. Alright, I, I messed that up. So yeah, I, I grabbed Duress because I was like, alright, I'm going to take the removal spell so I can have a blocker. I can't have a, a blocker. I'm dead. I can I can pay four life to kill their two things, which puts me to two, but the Bone Crusher Giant Trigger does that extra point of damage. Dang. Oh, I'm sorry, Anatran, your code didn't work. I'm sorry. Hopefully some of the other codes works. Okay. So yeah, Murderous Rider got me. So yeah, I... I mean, I can cast it as a creature. That that was my plan was to cast it as a creature, but they had they had the removal spell that would have killed my blocker, and they had six power in play. All right, so I liked I like the changes that we had here. Um, uh, honestly, like so, the brazen borrower still just looked really bad. I could see even just cutting them completely. Honestly, I could see just getting rid of them altogether. I'd want to play a little bit more with having you know like the two brazen borrowers. Um, 
But yeah, I liked adding in the, the extra land and probably adding in the Great Henge there too. Um, but yeah, even though we went 1-4, um, this deck felt pretty good. Like, it, like that's the thing about, like, the records. Like, you, you have to always know that, um, you know, a few different things here and there, things can go differently. Now, two, two of our losses were opponents just having awesome, awesome hands and just, you know, kind of destroying us with, like, hands that would have destroyed anybody kind of thing. Like, any of our decks that we would have played would have lost to two of those. And so then one and two, um, that last one against the aggro, our our first game, you know, we just drew really bad. That second game, I think I probably messed up that second game by not playing the Fey of Wishes and by playing the Murderous Rider. I think that game was kind of on me there. Um, if I would have just played Fey of Wishes, we would have just taken five, or we would have taken one less point of damage if I would have just cast Fey of Wishes instead of casting the Murderous Rider. And then I could have had, like, the Plain White Celebration for, like, that next turn and just, you know, gain 16 life and you know, gain more life and everything like that. So yeah, I think I, I think I messed that second game up. Um, you know, the one that we won was really close, of course, especially the game one. That was a very close match. And uh, the first one that we lost, we just really stuck on mana and I couldn't play spells. So yeah, even though we went one and four, I would be happy to run it back and i think that we could 4-1 if we just run it back brazen borrower though was was really a disappointing card it just wasn't impactful like bouncing permanents um all of my opponents like the stuff they were playing were like things that they wouldn't mind getting bounced back to their hand so we're we're basically turning this into like gruel clover splashing for fey of wishes basically The Dress and the Negates were, were, like, really good in the sideboard of, like, something of, like, cheap cards to grab with Fey of Wishes. Like, where, you know, we have six mana, we could, you know, grab Fey and hold up, like, Negate. I kind of wish we had more sideboard slots or more cheap things. I'm not sure if we need, like, Assassin's Trophy or, like, maybe some of the... Maybe we have too much of this this other big stuff. You know, maybe we need to take out some of the, you know, like, one or two big big cards and have a couple more cheap interactive cards in there. Yeah, Orzhov Troll Knights is already up on YouTube. So yeah, the, the video's there. But there we go. So learned a lot of stuff. Learning's good. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all learned stuff too. Um, hope y'all understand that this this is this felt like a pretty powerful deck here, even though we went one four. That um, you know we got to just keep tuning and uh, keep working towards it. But there's a lot of good stuff going on with Lucky Clover, Beanstalk Giant, Fey of Wishes for sure. Um, Foulmire Knight and Murderous Rider were both pretty good. I liked them. I liked those cards too. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's Soul Tide Adventures. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you, uh, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave some comments. Um, also, I hope you check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. It's just $3 a month. If you want to help support my videos, I'd really appreciate that. There's also a link down below, but of course, hope you have a wonderful, uh, Thanksgiving uh, wonderful holiday weekend or just you know regular weekend wherever you're at wherever you're watching it um, as as you can see i will not be streaming friday saturday or sunday so the next three days no youtube uploads and uh, no stream um, but i'll be back at it on monday and um, that's it here for today so thank you so much for watching some soul tie adventure and i'll see you for the next video